In the last lesson, we looked at how to set up and create a pivot table. Um, in this lesson, we're going to look at how to filter and sort using the pivot table. Uh, but just as a refresher, we'll go through creating it again very quickly. We've got our table of data. Remember, it always works on lists, so it's got to be continuous data. And we've got our column titles there. We do data, drop down to pivot table, and use the wizard. We're using the data in Excel, we're creating a pivot table, and we just progress through. Let's pick the data up for us. And then we choose layout in order to arrange the fields where we want them to be in our report. Um, I would like to put our sales rep up there as a page. I would like my products to be down the left hand side as rows and my customer as the columns. And I would like the quantity, how many items are purchased off us, as the data area. And I'm summing that, I'm adding that up. And I'm going to show you how we can change that to be other calculations. So we set up the basic report, click on OK, choose where we want it to be, in this case a new worksheet, and finish. There's our pivot table. Let's close down the field list to give us a little bit more screen space. And you can see the pivot table summarizes for each customer how many of each item they have bought. Right, let's have a look at um, the sum of quantity field. Just about make out that these are the field names and they are little areas that can be clicked and dragged around as I showed you in the last video. If I right click on a field name, I can then go down to field settings. I can also pick that up from the toolbar. But we select the field first and then down to field settings. And this allows us to change the summary. So instead of being the sum of quantity, I can change it to count, for example, and then OK. That now counts how many times they have ordered Boston Crab Meat, counts how many times they have ordered, ordered all these different products. So that was selecting the field, either right click or use the toolbar to go to field settings. Choose the type of summarizing we want to use. I'm going to switch it back to sum. And just while I'm there, you can alter the way in which the numbers are displayed. I could make it currency, for example. I'm going to keep it on general and then OK. I'm now back to my summing of uh, the quantity bought. OK, filtering is fairly straightforward. Each field has a filter attached to it. And we just click the drop down arrow, choose the item from the list, and it filters the data based on that selection. So this page area at the top defines what's seen in the whole of the pivot table. So I'm just showing. Bertha's sales. I'm now just showing Fred's sales. And I'll put it back to show all. Now showing everybody's fields, sales. But they feel the columns and rows have also got filters. So if I look at columns for the customer, I can tick in and out of any one of these boxes and just show the detail for those ones that I've got selected in the filter box. I was clicking the drop down, choosing either to show all or certain individual customers. And you can do that on rows as well. Click on the drop down arrow, either show all or remove it and just show certain products. We can also sort data using the normal sort ascending and descending. So for example, we can sort in order of um, uh, quantity purchased or product name. Uh, finally, we can format our table using the Format Report button. And this allows us to choose from one of a range of presets formatting to our pivot table report. 
choose table 10. We've all got a name. Table 9, table 10, pivot table classic. We just choose the one we want and then OK. And it applies that formatting to our pivot table. Run that again. Format report. Choose the report we like the look of. Click on OK. And that formatting is applied. Together with any groupings that are part of that formatting. And I'm going to talk about groupings in the next video. So just as a summary, in this lesson we've looked at how to create the table from the original data. Once we've got our pivot table, we've looked at how to filter using the on the columns and rows. We've looked at filtering the page. And we also looked at how to change the um, the summary. Uh, the default is to have a sum. But if we choose the field and then field settings, we can change it away from sum to be, for example, count.